Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello there. How are you? I'm I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. Mm. <laughs> like you fucking really care. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever, like, known people who, like, do that shit, where you, like, do nice, like, pleasantries to them, and they take fucking full offense to them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you fucking talk to someone who actually believes in, uh, your bullshit? <laughs> Whoa, alright! I feel like yes, but... It's like, who hurt you? I feel like that was, like, high as fuck! Wow, you fell in, like, the biggest hole. Yeah. You were like, I that's the one. That's the one I need. I feel like that was, like, high school era. Like, I, I, I would never... Like, it's been a long time since I've experienced that person. Well, yeah, because after a certain point in time, you learn to cut those people out of your life. Well, well speaking of cutting out of yeah, your life... Yeah, I feel like I've had the most of my, like, shitty human interactions during that phase. <gasps> because that's the phase where you're, like, thrust into an environment with shitty people. Yeah, oh yeah, you just have absolutely no say. But, I mean, we're also incredibly fortunate with, like, the friends we have and the jobs we do, because, like, the workplace is like that for a lot of people, too, you know? Yeah. Like, especially, like, cubicle-style shit. Uh... Yeah, I realized that the other- the other day when Susie had, um... Susie was running through her- her phone, and it's based on the iDroid from Metal Gear Solid V. Oh, okay. So, it, like, your phone sounds like the iDroid from Metal Gear Solid V. Nice. You get, like, phone calls and stuff. And there were all kinds of, like, custom call, uh... Oh, oh, no! Shit. Oh, boy. There were all kinds of custom call messages, and, like, and, like, a ton of them were, like, negative. It was, like, most hated call, or most, most hated co-worker, and, like, uh-oh, your mother-in-law is coming, <laughs> and shit like that. And I was like, oh, man. That's harsh. Yeah, I don't really have any of those kind of people in my life. Yeah, I guess not. Your mother-in-law is great. Yeah, she's cool. It's just weird, man, like... <sighs> I don't know. Just, my tolerance for dickatry has gone so far down, yeah. especially in the last couple of years. That's- okay. This is going way back. Mm -hmm. But there was- we did a Q&A, mm -hmm. where, um, I was saying I feel like you and I have more patience in different areas. Okay. Um, and then afterwards, and I couldn't think of- Ooh, nice. Good job. I couldn't think of what you had less patience than me at. Uh-huh. Um, and you stopped me afterwards, and you were like, during that thing, I could tell you were thinking of something, but you didn't know what it was, and I remembered what it was. What? There's, I can jump right, okay. It was, uh, you have less patience than me for bullshit. Oh, yeah, man, of course. Like, just- And incompetence in general. Oh, well- Like, I can put up with a lot. But you're kind of like, no, this is bullshit. I'm not gonna <laughs> deal with this anymore. <laughs> I well, I don't know. It it depends on the circumstance. I definitely have very little tolerance for bullshit in the sense that like, of like people being dicks. Yeah. Because it's so easy to not be a dick. Mm -hmm. Just don't. <laughs> like, just you. I mean, you know, you know what makes people feel good and what makes them feel bad. Don't do the things that make them feel bad. Yeah. Um. But yeah, in incompetence doesn't bother me too much, except when, like, um, you know, really important things are on the line, like someone's health, yeah. or, you know, or, um, you know, in our case, like, something that we've, like, planned and worked on for months in advance, you know, yeah. and then someone's just, like, fucking... <laughs> yeah, well, because it's not as important to them, so... Exactly. They're just... They, they, they find it easier to put it lower on the list. Yeah. Yeah. That's my like see I'm like I'm like rationalizing whereas you're like I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you just get older. Yeah. And you're like, "You know what? My time on this earth is limited." Yeah, that's true. How much of it can I spend? And and like that's the weird thing too cuz like you kind of when you're a kid you're like, "Whatever. Like when people get older, they're old, you know? Like who fucking who cares?" Uh, like, you've already lived your life, but it actually is kind of the opposite, you know, not- not that I'm old, but like, you know, you kind of start to feel like, wow, I have less time, you know? Yeah. Like, time is incredibly precious and fleeting. Yeah. And maybe I don't want to spend all goddamn day 
at the DMV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was beautiful outside today. That kind of thing. That's uh, that's something that I think occurred to me uh, when I had listened to a talk from John Blow, the the designer behind Braid, uh, the game Braid. Right. Um, he was like, he was doing a talk, and he was like. You know, I'm the age that I am. I don't remember exactly what age it was, but it, it was like it was like late 30s or 40s. Mm -hmm. and he was like, it took me three years to make Braid. My next game will probably take me like three to four years. And it's like, th there's only so many games in me from from this point on. And I'm like, Whoa, yeah, holy yeah. Crap. <laughs> there's like a finite amount of games I can make. Oh, so. I, I think about that with albums. Yeah, that's why like I kill myself to like work so hard and like try to crank out as much stuff as possible. Because like, it's not just, it's not just like that time is fleeting in general, but it's like, circumstances are fleeting, yeah. and, and constantly, uh, fluid. Um, you know, you just, like, I, we, for Starbomb, for instance, I rely on Brian and you, but like, anything could happen in any one of our three lives that would, you know, prevent us from doing another album. So, it's important to, you know, get cracking on that stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, we've written nothing for the third Top Star of album. <laughs> that was a bad example, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you really want to put that out there? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. We, we, we've been crazy, crazy busy. Yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. I mean, everyone's got shit going on. Yeah, jeez. That's, that's just the way of the world. I am- that's, that's, that's why I avoid Facebook. Yeah. Specifically Facebook. Yeah. Because Twitter is like, okay, I have a lot of art friends on there and I like looking at their art. But like, Facebook is like, Pure time waster. Oh. Well, people talk about the shit that they're doing, mm -hmm. and it makes it seem like a thousand times more interesting and involved than it really is. Right. And then plus, like, that's one person's own life that they've devoted their entire life to, right? So, and then you see just like, you know, it's summed up in a fucking 500 pixels. You know, it's like, I did this, uh, the, the accomplishment, and I'm like, oh. Damn, Damn, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, you know, I could be posting about a million things, but I just don't. The, yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't know, man. Like, I'm- I'm going through something. I mean, like, people will notice the, during, like, the last- Well, they might not come out at the same time, but, like, during a seven-episode chunk of Legend of Zelda and, um, you know, this group of Mario, uh, Galaxy, like, I'm doing my best, you know, do, doing everything I can, but man, like, more so than probably any period of my life, like, I'm, I'm really exhausted, you yeah. know? Like, I'm experiencing some real, like, um, like, diagnosable exhaustion. Yeah. And it, it's, it, it's weird how it creeps up on you, you know, like, cause, you, you just, you just go and go and go and go, and you're like, Okay, more episodes this day, <clears throat> record a song tomorrow, and, uh, whatever. It just, five things every day, and then all of a sudden a couple of years fall off the calendar, and like, and then one day you wake up and you're like, I'm so tired, I, I want to cry. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I don't mean to get heavy, but like, it, it really is like, crazy intense lately. Nah, dude, I feel it too. Yeah. I just want to go into a mountain for like a year and yeah. just like draw all yeah. day. I, it's, it's, it, when you, I don't know, when you do so much stuff, your standards of, of like how you spend your time and the kind of work that you do are constantly growing. Right. They never go backwards. Right. So, you always expect more from yourself every day that you're alive. Yeah. I never thought of it like that. It's it's kind of true though, cause like, you um, you set you set like, wh whatever the bar you set at, like, if if you slack off suddenly like, you're like, oh fuck, I'm I'm below the bar. Yeah. And especially like, in the YouTube world where, and in the internet world in general where, if you stop doing stuff for like two weeks, you will be forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, like it, it's, it just is a constant thing, and then like. You know, it just, it runs you dry a little bit, and that's why I'm so grateful, you know, that Kevin and Brian and, you know, 
just everybody, Susie and Holly, and like everybody chips in like with the stream stuff, and it's it's just because like if we did that like consistently in addition to everything else, like I don't know, man. I think my body would just shut down on yeah, me. Yeah, there would be a point where you just have to be like, where you have like an actual breakdown. Yeah, 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 and also just because like you see, you see other people, um, mostly through social media, living their lives, and you're like, oh man. A life. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that'd be nice to have. When's the last time I went outside and, and played frisbee with somebody? Yeah. God. Like, I, I fucking used to love doing that. This is the saddest episode of Mario <laughs> Galaxy. I'm so sorry, everybody. This is not how we generally feel. It's just it, we're having a day today. <laughs> Today's been a day. Yeah, it's, it's been emotional. But we're doing it. We're doing it for you guys. But yeah, and, and for ourselves, because, like, I... I I would feel like if garbage if I fucking stayed home and did nothing today. Yeah, and I do love doing Game Grumps all the time. I don't want to give off the wrong impression. Yeah. But holy shit. What could be better than- God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! Next time- Next time on Game Grumps. Clearly you're in a good place, so it's okay. <sighs> you want to hug it out? Let's hug- let's hug each other. It's a little too hot to hug. You're right, it's too hot. I'm gonna, but I'll rain check. Okay. Rain check on that hug. Yeah, for when it cools off in LA. Yeah. See you in five months.